Hello, friends. Uh, it's been a long time uh, because uh, after I updated my Mac to the the Mac OS Big Sur beta version, I cannot record my screen. So, and today I updated a new a new version, and it, it looks like they fixed the issue. So, I'm record this video for a new project I have I finished that maybe last last week. So it will be a very uh, uh, simple topic, and uh, I think it will gonna be a very short video for today. So let's get started, and it's related to the API. So, so basically, uh, this project is going to use the Google Sheet as a database, and then we're going to build some uh, APIs to. Uh, to retrieve data from your spreadsheet, just uh, idea like this. So as you can see here, here is a web app for the API documentation here. And I have a base URL for your API query. And uh, I have some uh, parameters for the query, like the name and the format of the, of the file, uh, of the content you'd like to return. So for now, I only uh, I only add a JSON and the XML. Okay, so I think you can do more if you like. But I think the JSON is the the most uh, recently. Uh, I think JSON is the most uh, popular uh, data format right now. So uh, it will be enough. And the, for some of you, may need to use the XML. So I also added the XML uh, format here. And I. The last parameter is download. So if you'd like to have a download link, you can add, uh, add these parameters and uh, enable it as true. So by default, this value is false, okay? And uh, here you have a API list for the JSON format, and this is for the JSON download links. And it's the same for the XML and XML download links. Okay, so basically, uh, this is the API we can use to retrieve the data. So let me give you an example here. So if I click this link, it should open the uh, page and uh, retrieve the data, retrieve the JSON data here. As you can see, uh, I got some basic information I, I coded uh, in the script. Okay, I have how many, how many items in this JSON object. Uh, actually, this count is uh, the length of this items array. Okay, so five items here. This count is five. And for the publisher and the publisher URL, so you can change them in the script. So this is daytime when you refresh uh, this URL. Okay, so this is the way you get the JSON file uh, in the browser. So you can you can query this link and get the same data. So I will give you a demo for that later. And if you use this link with this download uh, enabled, if you try this link in the browser, you should be able to download a file. Okay, so you can download a file like this. Since I already have one in my download, so I replace it. So I download the file. Okay, let me open it. So we can open it in, it looks like it's open in Firefox. Okay. I think you should see the same result just like we, we just saw in the Chrome. Okay. All right. So this is very similar. Just different, different of the format style. Okay, so let's close for now. So basically, this is the JSON format, and uh, we also can check the XML. So if you, if I try to open this link for the client, I should have. A, yes, I have a XML XML format like this. So so basically. That's all the functions uh, for this project. So if you'd like to build something like this and uh, you can use it in your 
uh, mobile mobile application or something uh, somewhere else okay and you also can uh, build a open public API for others to use your data host uh, in a spreadsheet all right so uh, basically you need to do so uh, I built the a common structure like this so in the spreadsheet so every tab here we're going to be a a file or a object so here example here I have a user tab a product tab clients and vendors so if you see my uh, documentation here I have four links so for each tab we're going to generate a link for the data so as you can see the name user so basically this user is a, is a uh, sheet name okay so the name equal to the sheet name and the format is the format you'd like to export or you'd like to use all right so you can simply add uh, have new items here so it's very dynamic and you can do modifications like that and if you'd like to add, add more uh, properties for your object you can add it here so you can add more maybe so for this user maybe I have the first name last name gender email age maybe I have I'd like to have a phone properties here and then maybe I give some uh, fake phone numbers and uh, 901 whatever so you add new properties in your uh, in your object or in, in your uh, spreadsheet if you refresh your so if you now you go to the link so let me try to open the first one so I updated the user sheet and I open this file I was this open this link I should have this form updated so so basically no matter what you add in this spreadsheet and all of this spreadsheet your API so there is no change on you uh, no change in the of the URL of the of the API but the data will be updated okay so it is very useful I think in this way and I suggest you to use a camel case uh, for the header as you can see I use the header name as a key for the object so vendor name maybe let me go back to the user first name last name as you can see here for the JSON file here I use the first name last name basically this is a header uh, a, a header name in your spreadsheet okay so you I suggest you to uh, name your header like this so but you also can use other style you won't break the the project I, I think and uh, I also add an ID for the row number. Okay, so if you see, so basically this uh, this is the first row, but the header header is ignored. Okay, so first one is actually row two in your database. All right. So just simple like that. So if you'd like to add a new uh, object, you simply add a new sheet or you can make a copy of some sheet you can duplicate it and then you can rename it uh, for your object maybe we like to add something else like to add uh, maybe videos maybe project so you maybe name your project project name maybe project name project description okay just something like that project uh, whatever contact and uh, project uh, and just keep it simple so I just have three columns I can delete them and if I refresh this page I should have four I should have five because I have because I have five tabs in this spreadsheet and I should have five objects yes like this and the last one is the project if I go to this stuff and I got this all of this information like this 
So I think this could be very useful uh, for you guys maybe you're trying to do something like this. Okay, so basically you can use this as a database and uh, you just build this uh, and, and in, uh, in another application you can use all of these uh, APIs to query data from this database. Okay, so so that's, 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 I think that's all you can do uh, in this project. And let me show you how you can retrieve the data. It's very simple. I also, so if you go to the script, I, I, I built a two demo functions here to fetch the data, fetch the JSON data and fetch the XML data. Okay, so basically this URL is your API and you can retrieve the data very easily. So let me show you. You even can retrieve them in other applications. So let me give you a very quick demo. So if you go to your browser, you can get the data very easily, I think. Uh, we can use the, so let's try to use the fetch API to get the, let me zoom in a little bit. So let's try to let the variable response to a wait. So let's try to use the fetch API to retrieve the data. So this is the API URL. So let's try to retrieve the data and uh, let JSON. So let's get the JSON data from the response. Okay. So the response JSON. So let's try to see what's in this JSON object. As you can see here, it's very easy to get the data. You get all of this information very easily uh, in JavaScript. But you also can use it in other programming languages. Uh, in very similar ideas like this. Okay, so so if you are trying to use it, use this API in uh, in app script, you can follow this these functions here. So let me try to run this fetch XML data. And uh, I console log this to uh, to the log. So let me try to run this function. Okay, so once it's done, let's go to the logs. All right, so as you can see, uh, data in XML, XML format. Okay, just simple like this. Okay, so a very simple project and uh, I think it, it will it may be useful for you guys and uh, you can do some modifications if you like to do so basically I set the publisher as my name here and my YouTube uh, channel uh, URL as the publisher URL here so if you'd like to change them you can change it here all right so if you'd like to add more format, as you can see here, I only handle the JSON and XML. So if you'd like to build another format, you need to handle it here. And uh, you need to create a function like this, maybe to create JSON for which shift you'd like to create. Okay, so you need to, as you can see, I have a function to create the XML content. And another one is create a JSON content, All right? So, I just uh, simple like this, all right? And uh, as I said, it will be a very short video here today. So I'll see you very soon, all right? So have a good weekend, bye-bye.